Hello everybody, as you may or may not know, I'm Steven, and I love science. Uh, today, I'm breaking out the electronics gear so that I can show you how we can take our very, very simple little transistor that we talked about in the last video and turn it into a not gate. And in the future, I will show you how we make other gates. Uh, what I'm showing you, this is more or less how uh, it's done in the real world, in your computer. This camera does autofocus on whatever it thinks it should focus on. So right now it's focusing on, oh, uh, my hand. Okay, so let's take a look at what we're gonna be doing. Um, I drafted this diagram, whoa, so that I could show you what it is that we're gonna be doing. You can see uh, we have everything that we talked about last time and some other things. So basically everything is going to be powered by a 3 volt battery. It's just two double A's put together. And in the center you see we have our transistor. The, uh, the C is, stands for collector, the B for base, and E... I can't do this in mirror image. E for the emitter, okay? And I'm actually going to swap the camera angle to make this a little easier. So let's go everything in the circuit is again. We got the battery, the squiggly lines, the jagged squiggly lines are resistors. We have two, a 10K, which stands for 10,000, and a 1K for 1,000. And the unit for resistance is ohms. It's named after a guy named Ohm. Uh, this triangle with a bar with the little arrows are LED lights. We're gonna have two LED lights. This light right here is going to tell us if our input is on or off, okay? So that's like if we want to do um, the, the inverter for a particular input signal, that's going to be that signal right there. And we can tell if it's being inverted by this LED, which is the output, okay? So you can see our input goes into the base of the uh, transistor, and the output is the difference in the collector and the emitter voltages, okay? That's how we get the output on the transistor. So really, in a diagram, you'll see just this node right here, and that just implies that the bottom one is zero. And so you can see um, this just feeds back around into the battery so we complete our circuit. Now this little break right here stands for a switch. Now I don't actually have any buttons or switches right now. I'm gonna get some to make this a little more easier to illustrate, but if we close the switch, what we expect to see is this light go off because our input is on. When the switch is open, we expect this light to be off because there's no input and this light to be on like an inverter, okay? So let's take a look at the largest not gate ever built, BAM, right here. Let's go through all of our elements and uh, see what we got. Up here, we have our two AA batteries. And down here, that's our resistor, like I showed you before. Let's get the autofocus going, okay? Here is our input LED. Here's our input resistor, which was 10,000 ohms. Up top, we have our source uh, resistor, which is 1,000 ohms. And here is our output LED right here, that big clear one, okay? Let me see if maybe I can get a little closer up on this. Da, 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 da. Okay. Yes, we can, okay. So, the switch, is going to be when I connect these two red wires together right here. In this circuit, all the white wires are grounds and all the red wires are power. Okay, so if you see a, something connected to a red wire, it means it's getting power from the battery. And if it's white, it means it's going into the back of the battery. Okay, so if I connect these two red ones together, uh, which I'll do up here, I guess. Whoa, trippy, huh? Okay, so whenever I connect these two red wires together, we expect, uh, if they're apart, that's disconnected, so the output will be on, and if we connect them, then our output should go off. So right now I'm gonna power on the circuit. This is our power wire right here. So, uh, there. We see the output light is on. This one right here. Output light is on because the input is off. So let's connect them together. Oh, so the input is on, now the output is off. That's exactly what a NOT gate does. Let's pop up the NOT gate truth table right here. Okay. 
I'll, I'll do that when I, when I edit this. So look, if we, let me show you again. Connect the input. Input is on, output is off. Disconnect the input. Input is off, output is on. So um, this is pretty simple to do. It's kind of hard to tell just by looking at it here, but basically it's exactly the same as the diagram that I showed you, except we you know, use the real parts for it. And uh, you can connect it however you want to. I tried to make it simple with few wires and things like that. But um, in, uh, the ne in the next episode, or I don't know if you'd even call that an episode, in the next video that I do, I'll show you how to make a NAND gate. And once we have our NAND gate, then we can start um, making actual like stuff. We can make our full adders, or our, our multiplication stuff, or any kind of all the games and things like that that we've talked about before. But yeah, this is our this is our NOT gate right here. We have one transistor, uh, two resistors, which we could actually use for an entire circuit. We just need two for pretty much everything. We need one LED for every input to tell us if it's on or off. But you don't actually need that in a computer because you're just going to assume that everything's working. And the output LED, you could put anything here really. I actually have a bug that we can hook up to it. We can have any kind of output that we want to. The output of this could be opening a door or uh, opening a chute to feed your dog or it could be using your remote control for your TV or anything you want to. So. If you have any questions about, um, if you do want to get your own like kits for electronics and stuff, I can point you in the right direction. All this stuff was extremely cheap and uh, really easy to find. So yeah, that is how we turn our idea, our, our truth table, into our wiring diagram, into the real thing. And then all we have to do is shrink this down to a millionth of the size and we've done the real world application. So, let me know if there's anything else you'd like to see. Take care, and I'll see you next time.